Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving right into another documentary interview setup. Keeping the setup simple was crucial for this documentary. So I brought in just one light and my two FX6s. I ended up using a bounce for fill and then a shotgun microphone for quick setups. I'll show you my favorite LUTs applied to the footage, including a false color LUT. So let's get into it. My go-to light for this documentary has been the Aperture 600X Pro with the Aperture 150 dome attached. The reason I like to use it is I get a big source that is very simple and easy to set up, but also I have the bicolor flexibility so I can lean towards tungsten or daylight depending on the situation, and that's been very crucial overall in this documentary. I always like to match my interview cameras as much as possible. So I ran two Sony FX6s for my interviews. And then I ran the 50 millimeter F1.2 G Master for my wide angle. And then my type was the 85 millimeter F1.8 G. I like to pair my matching cameras with matching monitors. It makes it easy to reference. I can look at both shots and make sure that my white balance is correct that I'm not getting anything weird and actually see the results with my LUTs applied, which is important to me. Using a bounce or a negative for fill is always my go-to approach. I don't like using a second unit to actually light the fill side of the subject. That's just my preference overall. It's also easier to travel with and set up. With this being a darker scene overall, I wanted to limit the spill in the space so i did go with the grid on this i'm using the 40 degree grid that's included with the 150 dome and then i opted for the thicker diffusion which is a two and a half stop diffusion and it also comes with the 150 dome it has a similar feel and look to it to shamira cloth so it's really thick or almost like a magic cloth Something that's really important when dealing with cowboy hats or hats in general is you have to get that light lower to make sure you're getting under the brim and you're not creating a harsh shadow. So the light is lower to help get that light underneath the brim of that hat. I've done multiple interviews with this setup for this documentary and it's been working out really well. And sometimes we get lucky. And on this one, we had some practicals in the background. So we're able to take advantage of those lamps and utilize them. And let's take a look at the results. This is straight out of camera. This is our wide angle. And I always run S log three, S gamma three cine, if I'm allowed to on shoot, gives you the most flexibility in post and I'm always landing at base ISO of 800 or second base if it's a really dark situation where I need that extra boost. So that helps keep the noise levels down and make the image look amazing overall. And now let's apply the Phantom Neutral LUT. So this is a Phantom LUT just applied to the footage, no adjustments made, again, straight out of camera, LUT applied, no adjustments for exposure or anything. I'm trying to always nail exposure and match exposure between the two cameras to give me the best results on site rather than coming in into post and trying to fix things. Because if you could get it correctly on site, it's always going to give you a good base point so you can make your adjustments that you may want for the look of the documentary or footage you're looking at. With the Atomos false color LUT applied, you can see where the light is hitting the subject, but also you can see the levels overall for the frame. The background is pretty dark. Now, would you lighten up the background or would you keep it where it's at? Let me know in the comments below. I know it's very subjective and it differs from person to person. And a lot of people say it depends on context. Here's the second angle. We are running the same setting, so we're running S-Log3, S-Gamut3 Cine in camera. This is actually Lee Wells. He's the director for the documentary. So if you've been watching the channel, I've been filming some interviews and B-roll for a documentary that covers the Texas wildfires that recently happened in the Panhandle. 
You could actually find this interview on YouTube. I'll link it down below in the comments so you could check it out for yourself. Now I'm gonna apply my favorite LUT, which is the Phantom Neutral LUT. This is just a LUT applied. No adjustments were made. There was no exposure adjustments, white balance, or anything done to the image in post. I just applied the LUT and this is the result. I'm the furthest thing from a professional colorist or color grader, so I leave that to the experts. When I need something done, I hire out and get the best to get it done. Now on smaller projects, I love to just use the Phantom LUTs to get me close to the results that I need with minor tweaking after the fact. Now we're gonna apply the Atomos False Color LUT so you can see how everything lands in the image. We're not blown out anywhere. We're in the yellow, the orange range. It's all safe. So we have everything that we need and all the information we need. We do have a few dark spots and you can actually see the noise movement. But when you look at the image with the actual LUTs applied, it's not noisy there. It looks good and it comes out great. And this is without any sharpening. Here is a different LUT applied. This is the Phantom Neutral Legacy LUT. The other footage was the Phantom Neutral LUT. What do you think of this LUT? Would you have gone with this look over the brighter feel of the neutral LUT? Or do you prefer the way the Phantom Utopia LUT looks on the footage? It's a tough choice figuring out which look you wanna go with and sometimes you have to step away and get someone's opinion or take a break and then go back to the footage to see what looks best overall. Now we're gonna apply the Phantom Tungsten Legacy LUT. Is this the look that you like? So there's so many options. That's what's cool about the Phantom LUT. This is not a sponsored video. I have no affiliation with Phantom LUTs but they work so well for me. That's why I wanna share them with you and let you guys know how great they are. So here's the Phantom Neutral Legacy LUT applied to the tighter shot so you can see how it works overall. And here's the Phantom Utopia LUT applied to the footage. And here's the Phantom Tungsten Legacy LUT applied to the footage. I like the neutral LUT applied to my footage, but do you like the neutral legacy, the utopia, the tungsten? What's your favorite look? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.